Hello and welcome to Jungling Tips with Commando Yi. This is the first of an advanced jungling video series focused on strategies. Now a lot of aspiring junglers want to know which lane they should gank or which lane they should prioritize. The answer to this is that you should prioritize whichever lane has the highest probability of success. And by success I mean a kill, not just burning summoner spells. And so the question becomes which lane has the highest probability of success? It turns out it's actually the lane where an opponent died recently, and the probability of success is even higher if you had a hand in the first kill as the jungler. Now to figure out why this is true, we need to take a look at the underlying player behavior. Here is an example where Fiora kills the enemy Rengar at level 2, with both of them blowing their ignites. Fiora won the exchange, will farm for a bit and shove the wave before recalling, while Rengar will respawn and head back to lane. The player that died will return to lane first and will try to catch up in CS as he wants to quickly bridge the gold gap between him and his lane opponent. And while Fiora is not in lane, Rengar knows that there is no risk of anything happening to him. And so here I am waiting him out. When Fiora eventually returns to lane, Rengar knows that she does not have ignite and that he should avoid any unnecessary fights and just try to farm knowing that it'll be a while before both of them are ready to kill each other again. This window of time just after they meet in lane is my opportunity to go in for a gank because Rengar is not expecting to get killed again so quickly after seeing Fiora. He's lowered his guard so I go in the moment he overextends to take one minion and we take the free kill on Rengar putting Fiora two kills ahead of him in lane which makes his life very difficult. Now let's take a look at one more case. Our Ari at mid manages to kill the enemy Syndra. She shoves the minion wave and recalls. The moment Syndra dies, I tell Ari that I plan to kill Syndra when she returns to her lane. Syndra respawns and heads back to lane, getting there before Ari. And of course she starts farming quickly to bridge the gold gap as she has fallen behind and is not expecting for Ari to try and kill her right away upon returning to lane. I time my arrival at the mid lane to coincide with Ari's return and Syndra gets hit with a surprise gank from behind the moment she sees Ari. And now Ari has a 2 kill lead in her lane. Now expanding on this, I mentioned that there are better odds of success if you've ganked that lane before. When you gank a lane successfully for the first time, where you and your ally manage to kill the enemy champion, everyone in the game believes that you have successfully ganked that lane. You got your ally ahead and now you will focus on other lanes. No one expects the jungler to gank them again a second time in a row, especially after they just got back to their lanes. It seems very unfair, it seems excessive because your ally clearly does not need the help. This double gank will often cause the target enemy champion to become upset and they may even express their displeasure at what you're doing in all chat. With any luck, their team will start yelling at them and calling them a feeder for things that are largely out of their control. Now let's take a look at an example of this. Here I'm jungling Maokai. You'll notice there's no fancy mechanics here trying to kite the camps to reduce the damage that I'm taking. I'm just spamming my abilities on each camp while actively looking at the map for where to gank next. Now while I'm clearing my blue, I notice that the enemy Annie is overextending. And so I come from behind, ping Oriana for the gank, and we get the kill on Annie. Now we're not done with the mid lane yet, we're not done by a long shot. I tell Oriana I plan on killing Annie again when she returns. And so heading back to the jungle, we're going to pick up the red buff and just keep farming, waiting to sync up with Oriana when she returns to our lane. Annie respawns and starts heading back towards her lane, and we'll get there before Oriana. I grab my rates and time my arrival to coincide with Oriana's return. Annie is not expecting to get killed just after seeing Oriana return to lane. And the sad thing here is she's actually being a responsible mid laner going toward her lane because she just got ganked. But that's too bad because I'm already there and we get the second kill on Annie anyway. And this will make her extremely frustrated. Now if we're lucky, Annie will start complaining that her jungler is not helping her at mid while the enemy Maokai has been mid twice already. Jarvan coming in trying to be a hero and dying while defending the turret is not going to help because now Oriana is 3 kills ahead in lane. 
The result of the double gank is that Oriana now has a massive lead over Annie and can kill her anytime she wants on her own. This frees us up to focus other lanes as this lane is now self-sufficient. Now let's take a look at one more example. Seeing the enemy already overextended in the mid lane, I go in for a gank from the side, blocking the enemy Hecarim's gank in the process and we get the kill on Ari. The moment Ari dies, I tell Fizz I'm returning to kill her again when she gets back to her lane. Ari respawns and heads back towards her lane, trying to get caught up in farm. I recall myself to pick up a few items and head back towards mid. Now I am a bit late since Fizz made it back to lane before I did, but that's okay, it hasn't been very long. I come through the side and we gank Ari again. Her guard was lowered because the enemy jungler has already ganked her once and Fizz just got back to lane. The lane is now snowballing in Fizz's favor and we can focus our efforts elsewhere. In the post-game chat, we see that the enemy team was in fact raging at their Ari for getting camped at mid lane. This means that one double gank at mid was highly effective at destabilizing the morale of the enemy team. Now while most of this footage is from Season 4, the strategies discussed here are just as applicable to Season 5 and I personally still use these strategies as of Patch 420. As soon as Spectator Mode and Replay start working properly again, I'll have new example footage to work with. To summarize the strategies here, the first thing you want to learn is to gank when your ally returns to a lane where they just got a kill. The enemy champion will have lowered their guard and do not expect a coordinated gank the moment they see your ally return to lane. A strategy that builds on this idea with higher odds of success is to gank the same lane twice in a row. The first gank makes everyone in the game believe you are done with that lane, which makes it that much easier to capitalize on the enemy champion lowering his guard upon returning to lane. And again you go in with a coordinated gank shortly after your ally returns to lane. The double gank strategy is much more likely to cause anger and frustration amongst your opponents, demoralizing the enemy team making it easier for you to win. And that wraps it up for the first video on jungling strategies. Now I would like to get some feedback on the quality and content of these videos, so feel free to leave any ideas or suggestions in the comment section below.